Box of drinking, gambling, and gluttonous whoring. Okay, so as the honorable executor of the family's estate, you were in what business exactly, Miss Liberty? You never knew who was watching. Bonsoir, Monsieur. You speak French? We speak also. How'd you manage to get yourself through the front door? I mean that as a compliment, a man of your race to have privileges here. Louis. <laughs> so your name is Louis. Of course it's Louis. I didn't get your name, fella. Je suis désolé. Je m'amuse trop en privé. I know sometimes. Staring me down as his gaze tied a string around my lungs. And the women, all shades of skin, white, black, cinnamon. It was not until a few nights later, quand je regarde un homme sorti un couteau de sa canne et presser la lame sur le stomach de son frère. Lestat, unpack your trunks. You're home. <laughs> I had planned to make a new life for myself in Saint Louis. That was to be my destiny. And now I know I was right. But a handsome man with a most agreeable disposition. Destined to be very good friends. Wonderful to meet you. I do hope I run into you again, Louis. Nation entirely devoid of blood. Is their theory some new kind of rat has come ashore? Of the six foot variety. <laughs> we call those bureaucrats in France. <laughs> oh no, Louis de Locke. <clears throat> Louis, let me introduce you to Mr. Lestat de We both wanted the last bouquet of lilies. Come on, show your cards. Miss Leon Cord, your hand is incomprehensible. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Would you mind uh, getting me some more of these yes. money chips? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, throwing off medicine balls on a facade? Get a good margin on alcohol? No nonsense, madam, to keep the girls clean? All right. Well, I can only speak of my experience which is, I'm sure, different in my country. For example, you find gentlemen have heard of the success to... These men look down on you. I have to... It's undeniable. I came to my wealth, honestly, and it... 10%. 15. Yes, I believe there is great opportunity in this city. But to seize it, I'll need protection from the wolves. Forgive me, Mr. de Ponte Lac, for my bias. His trick to make the So you played docent to the gentleman vampire. He had not revealed his vampire nature yet. Tellers of their oldest volumes for a library and, with encouragement, updated his wardrobe to the fashion trends of the season. I found myself for the very first time to anyone other than Paul. I'm switching rooms. I don't need it. Oui, okay, madame. My mother... She gave me every advantage in life as a young man. My first Mastiff, first flintlock rifle, the means to make my way to Paris. It was Louis that purchased your holiday, Levy. It's Louis who controls the money. No, my Levy. I do love this bouillabaisse. <laughs> Down here we... We had a gumbo the other night, didn't we, Louis? Uh, right after the opera. Oh, you got Louis to an opera. Have we too. And what exactly is the nature of your relationship? Your brother and I have been discussing a few investment opportunities. Monsieur Frenier, would you tell me how you came to propose to this delightsome young woman? Oh, that's <laughs> good, yawn. Are you? That's all right, Louis, madame. The, the birds speak for him. <laughs> I came to know Christ in a monastery. I wanted to be a priest. Just like you, Paul. The monks who lived there, I came to memorize both the Testaments, the writings of Assisi, Aquinas, Erasmus. My father, a vulgar man, did not think much of this education. And so he and my brothers conspired to pull me out. Lock me away. Where between beating 
Aquinas, Erasmus, all the question there is an ocean between Christ and myself. This vera, the oiseau perché dans la Don't do that shit here. You understand? I am cursed with my father's temper at times. And the rudeness is all mine. That's all right. And Levy here can tell us all again how he won my joy child's heart. Yes, I feel quite at home here. <laughs> Should we have a nightcap? For the night, gotta make my rounds back on Liberty. You must, Louis. I bought you a gift, a flower. Two things I brought with me from the continent. I composed it for a young violinist I once knew, a boy of infinite beauty and sensitivity. A pair of misfit beauties. I can see why you both run to the other. Miss Carol, know you here, Lily? I can assure you the fair play has been handsomely compensated for the evening. Sent a two-horse carriage to pick me up. <laughs> Felt like the queen of the quarter. There's nothing to be nervous about. The curtains are closed. The servants sent home. I've been watching you for some time now, Louis. From river to lake. Lake back to river. Do what? Such a pretty head. Kill me, but just enough to keep him fit. It takes an enormous amount of restraint for us, the little drink. And for a human, experiencing it for the first time, it was on that night out of my mind and turn my attentions back to life as it was before. One, two, three for the discerning predator. The condolences. An elegant coffin. Would you tell me where you purchased? Move on. I wait on my balcony every night. You've been avoiding me. I don't take kindly to it's being avoided. It's my brother's avoided. funeral. Believe me when I tell you, your brother longed for that flagstone. What'd you say to me? I ain't got it, boy. <clears throat> the start, but he would not allow it. Come to me, Louis. God heard you, Louis. This charlatan! Do you not see how unworthy he is? How can you humiliate yourself like this? That magnificent life she was living. What a tragedy. You bring in a death to town. I give death to those deserving. I'm not the devil. Every hat you're forced to wear, the stern landlord, the deferential bit. What rage you must feel as you choke on your sorrow. Your beautiful face. I saw that sorrow. I can take away that sorrow, Louis. You feeble, blind, degenerate, non existent god for. But I can. Swap this life of shame. Swap it out for a dark gift and a power you can't begin to imagine. You just have to nod your beautiful head and say yes. I love you, Louis. I send my love to you. Fire, you feel as if you're dying. Because you are. 
And then there's the... There's a spark. Follow my voice. A single strain. Are you hungry, Louis? <laughs> they were your brothers and sisters once, but now they're your savory inferiors. A pair of oak cage cabernet. Hunting is in art. You have the power to subdue anyone you want, but sometimes restraint is your most powerful weapon. Great to the prettiest girl at the party. I admire the aesthetic. In the beginning, it's best to let the food come to you. Sir. Careful, Moshe. You're beginning to frighten the man. Go ahead and take that. Might come in handy. So I am talking about gas-powered, open-geared beast of... Mm. And, uh, streamlined tractor. Now, not only going to increase your harvest, but it's going to leave. Whenever you're ready, Louis. I need you. No. No, you don't bite the blood. You suck it. Cool. This is your home now, Louis. Breathe. Paul. Oh, dear. You're going to find that very difficult. Girl seeking tourists, far flung from their homes. The laissez faire attitude of the local police force. <laughs> oh, yes. The perfect setting for a vampire home. Vampire romance. <laughs> we'll get to your own soon enough. You've had a long life, Louis. And such an extraordinary one ahead. It's okay. You can be on top. When I first started learning English, I aborted. Every word felt like a doorknob falling out of my mouth. Chapeau was a hat, the toilet was a star. Killing folks ain't a second language. But, but when I started dreaming in English, that's when I embraced it. And now I have English consonants to thank for this astonishing job. Is it healing properly? You might need a proper doctor, my. I'm good with people. Hmm. No, he wants the job so he can steal from you. Enough for you to notice, but enough to make him. Good extra, he calls it. Vampires can read minds, mon cher. Yo, for how long? Hmm. Every human thought boils down to three things. I want food, I want sex, I want to go home. You see that man right there? I hold the heartbeat. You hear his lungs leaking and flooding air. His mind is just another bodily sound. But can me. Would you prefer Rome, Wisconsin? Capable hands of Miss Bricked up and follow the Appian way. How are you gonna get coffers across the Atlantic? That can be an inconvenience, but not impossible, obviously. Well, how'd you get those? Well, I have been thinking the Inglaterra. Imagine hunting between the Cafe Greco and the Spanish steppes. But you've made your point. Pity. We'll just have to settle for Rome coming to us. Not another opera, Donizetti's comic masterpiece, Don Pasquale. Two city tour, so the orchestra should be an exhibit form. I have a private box and I had tuxedos made. The steadfast pupil deserves a divine reward. Readers and patrons of the French Opera House on Bourbon in Toulouse. Stretching out for decades at a time. You take this feeling away from me, Louis. We must stay together and take precaution. And never part. Not many, I'm afraid. Maybe a hundred. A hundred and one. But the soprano was everything Lestat said she would be. And music. That was where Lestat separated man from food and any humans who were involved in the creation of it existed on an elevated plane in his eyes. I was moved to see he too had his human attachments. 
Ah. And Lestat was unamused. I don't understand how someone like that can make it onto a stage. I understand they're a road company, but are they pulling talent from roadside gas stations? And so Lestat oscillated his disdain between the tenor and the witless swamp dwellers in the sea, which could mean only one thing. The hunt was on. And I was surprised by a wave of nausea coming over me. And he was to be butchered for what? An offending note? E dove è finita la tua voce? Sto tarando prematuramente il nostro povero Domenico Gaetano Maria. E come faccio io a sapere tutto ciò? Ero nel suo salato quando l'ha scritta. Some no more of your sound can pollute this world. Why do you do this, Lestat? Well, I like to do it. I enjoy it. There's a column in here about the history of this lovely square. It says that the man who designed it did so after the Place de Vosges in Paris. I can't see that. It used to be called the Place d'Arm. I prefer that, don't you? Mm hmm The Louisiana Purchase was signed here. Pennywise, Frank Foolish. <laughs> say anything about how they used to take runaway slaves, cut their heads off, and pike them on the iron gates as a warning? I'm only halfway through, let's see. I put you on this earth. Your purpose is to enjoy yourself. Leave Louis, excavate the hearted thoughts buried beneath my damaged soul. Do you desire, Louis? Shall we walk the night as the gods of easily attainable dreams? I desire blood as much as you do. But I wonder. Only eat redheads, the humorous? Define your terms, determining that. You lose our power. Is pure instinct. Reason is a set of leg irons. Every one of them is capable of abomination, even the ones worthy of admiration. Shakespeare, Brahms, this stands. If you don't mind the shaking, I've snapped his spine. It's merely his nerve spasming. Well, go on. Here's your criminal. Eat! Before your reason or his heart fails us. It's Haley all the way in Atlanta. They talking about this place in Atlanta. Your night had nothing to do with ridding the world of criminals or finding some morality to buoy your existence. You're ashamed of what we are for the infinitesimal time. You're a vampire. Business, a cover, an illusion to throw off the scent of the dogs. This one. Yes, yes. For every 20 people he kills, he makes one small businessman's dreams come true. Louis de Pontelac, the dark prince of Iberville. A fish that doesn't swim. A bird refusing flight. You're going to struggle. I fear for the feline population of New Orleans. Your pianist has lost his passion. What? Mr. Mark Melody, the very same way for two weeks now. Think you could do better, Jack? Well, I'm not being paid a small fortune on top of that tip jar to before. My skills are irrelevant. Court. Well, they didn't come here to hear you play either. Otherwise, you'd be in a concert hall and there'd be fewer prostitutes. <laughs> you can pretend to be a vegetarian. I can pretend the fool. Boys being shipped off to Europe. Know your enemy. You miss Mr. Martin. What you hear is genius. He had 20 children in his lifetime and you're sort of stuck on that wet dick zinger for a night. Like your left hand on the piano. Little walking patterns, isn't it? Later, there was nothing wrong with Jelly Roll's playing. 
He gave him the band in Chicago. Jelly was gonna leave me high and dry in a few days in the start to Cumbridge. If I'm not mistaken, he improv the melody for what would later become the Wolverine Blues. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold on there. A silent bridge for your voice to float along. <laughs> Talk like you play, Mr. Lee. The start filled in for Jelly the next night. My libido was not what it had been. We had a good run, but I did it for Louie. I do everything for Louie. Or whatever you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come now. Mind on back. What do the employees at the Azalea say about Louis and Lestat? Are there two beds upstairs or one? Do you want to find out? So, what do you imagine confines us to a single note? Why not a chord? Why not a cluster? Burnished complexions. <laughs> oh, your blouse is soaked in champagne. Bad, Daddy. Is the animal market still open? He gets that way when he's hungry. <laughs> mm. Yourself. There's a dentistry convention in town. Sinister talk of molars and bicuspids around every corner. No. She has talents. Of course. Of course. Of course. As long as you come home to me. Of course. I'm gonna make it. I'll How's your night? Fine. Went to my old house on Esplanade. An old love. Hmm. Tedious. No, I don't see that happening again. Shall we have a night out tomorrow? I was gonna go lock us in with you. Oh, joy, oh, boy, where do we go from here? I'm a lot. I'm not perfect. Yes. Yes, I don't like Sherry. And I don't have feelings for her. I heard you on standing! I watched you pull over and drain the door! Two more rats! This is not a life! I got nothing! Compare businesses run by white gentlemen are thriving. This is Louis' hobby, not mine. What is it? It goes against much of my teaching, but you managed to execute it with such a plum. So that torturous death was for your people? A garish display of his body like some public art piece? Fly for yourself. Did you not smile when he begged? Maybe you went quiet on purpose. You did what you did because it gave you pleasure. Companion of the dark gift, finally. We should make this our anniversary. them the excuse so as i said toss them into circumstance they go for the throne i ran and then i saw the white angel drain her she's only a kid i don't know where to bite her body's all charred. you know i don't know where to bite her body's all charred. you know a lap dog mm -hmm. not a... a daughter you were ready to abandon our home Vecina's <laughs> mama, dad, and auntie. You want more? That. That's the incinerator where we burn the. We'll get to that soon enough. It's true. Well, I can't. I'm your maker. That make him the dumb one? <laughs> What's funny? Yeah. What's she saying? Yeah. I can see where this is going. Bonjour. <gasps> You'll do it too, in time, my little milkweed. I'll teach you. Just like I taught Louis here. But not if we're going to have family secrets. All right. So what's that for? You don't have to. Or 
You can endeavor on an experience that feels like eating syrup while riding on the wind. I'm not sure how I feel about that pleated skirt. It's chiffon. It has movement. Hmm. Tremendous. Fortifying myself for an evening of swan hunting. No, get back here, missy. Confusion, regret, euphoria. You gonna wake up feeling a whole lot of things. My young lady, metabolism is permanent now. You don't want to engorge yourself, my petite. More tomorrow, okay? Histrionics. Some sedation is what she needs. She... No, no, no! Claudia! Claudia! Mm. Why did she talk to the book? The sun comes up, we go down. That's never gonna change. Sounds oh, funny in French. Put down the mail! Bonne nuit! Sherry, best see if it's a good... F Daddy Lou, can I... A girl vampire needs her own space if she's gonna find herself in this no-day world. And Diary, you can already tell the words come easier when you're locked in tight, wrapped in pink sign, and Daddy Lou's feet ain't in your face. It's just me, my pen, my brain, my heart, and the blood of the streetcar conductor I drained after he got off work. Thank you, streetcar driver. I hope they got more of you at your company to fill in for you. It's never great... Still, you wouldn't believe how time flies when there's people to eat and money to spend. This was given to me by a marquis who was beheaded by a mob ten years after he gave it to me. I love it. Oh. How old you spend? Then the next thing you know, the leaves figure them out quick most times. And when they can't, I can always get in between and make it right. <laughs> we do like mortals do. Eat. We laugh. Oh, we man. sleep. We love. Yeah! <laughs> I prefer you like that. Claudia has expressed an interest in going home. But your smell is awful. Mm. Wakes were invented in places where it snows. Daddy Lou said I have been away from people too long. I didn't. Man, you steer, steer. <gasps> but we're immortal. You can still smash your pretty little head and then take long Delmonts to recover. Eyes on the road. <laughs> there ain't no doubt that it looks... And by my estimation, no blood is sweeter. And people swollen with passion. Denied spirits by this senseless prohibition populate that most mysterious of mathematical equations. How one... You've been too sheltered, my belladonic beauty. Yours? Young. Strong. And likely to fight back. You must be most. <laughs> She's with me. <laughs> Uncle Les says I gotta practice killing both the one and the. Well, look at you. I didn't recall buying that out. Jumped a girl in between speakeasies. Don't do something he would do. Happy hunting. It's easy to get carried away when you're young and in love. I can't. He's dead. You didn't have to kill him. You killed him completely. You drained him dry. Now go on. Clean up after yourself. Stop squirming and watch. Remember this? His fit. This is why we never get close to mortals. Because sooner or later, they end up. Room, we could tie him up next to the car. She's not surviving on birds or nocturnals, Louis. And you're going around the back to make nice with the rat catcher. I know what I'd do, but you've cut my hands off. My parenting is. <laughs> so save your words when it comes to Claudia. Ça suffit. Voilà. Comme j'ai dit. She's dining out. Dear diary, am I gonna be a virgin every single time I do it? Won't my skin down there grow back like my hair does when I cut it? Jesus. 
A whole lot of concern has been wasted on you these past months. Inked with ungratefulness. Where are the bodies? Where are they? Nothing out there for miles. No one's ever going to find them except maybe criminals burying bodies of their own. Shall miss three feet below the river line. No. Shoulder from the long arm of Baton Rouge, I'm afraid. They're promising I only have to be in session about a... <laughs> Your support in my... A grubby business politics. A city of a thousand salutes. Maybe I should buy him around. Ask him why there's double the cops walking the quarter lately. I read about that in the papers. Six bodies, was it? Six? Fleet of corpses like it was judgment come. Sounds like there's a maniac on the loose. <laughs> you didn't invite us here for... One each. You are, and can you explain your presence in it? Well, we've had a few citizens go missing from Rue Royale. Uh... <laughs> oh, dear. Lurking about. Your daughter let us in. I was... They? Oh, I... <laughs> what is it? It's an incinerator. Waste. Refuse. We sell incinerators. To various American cities, where garbage collects, rats congregate, infection breeds a problem. We bring our clients here to demonstrate the product. <laughs> That's my daughter's rule. What were you waiting for? We'll refrain from contacting the Child Welfare League, but I don't like what I've seen in this home. And we'll make sure Police Chief Bardeen is informed how his men conducted themselves in the home of law-abiding, tax-paying citizens. I have no doubt you could carry the fines, but crimes against nature, that comes with a... We'll be watching you, Mr. Dulac. Mr. Lean Court. You wanted her. You fixed her. And beer and whiskey. We're doing this together. Anvil tied around our ankles, pulling us towards the pitch black ocean floor. You two have each other. <laughs> You're not my type, I like a full of fish. Stop! She's being impossible. How much blood I give them? Boar from Pontetula. Boar from Holly Grove. Boar with the bow tie out in Algiers. Make me one. Because you turned out so well. Because if you don't, I'm going to go out there and find other vampires. If you could find any, which you won't, they would shred you to strips. Because you are a mistake. <laughs> Been following you, Uncle Ed. I've been entertaining myself, amusing my... I don't know if you remember... Akira Sun. Traitor, your locks on the doors, shutter the windows, no parties, no friends. But her abs were an opportunity. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. Paris? No. Uh -huh. We should dismantle her room. You don't touch her room. She'll be back. No, she won't. There will be no roaring 20s for us. We will be underground for seven years. The unhappy housewife Flaubert's style is so dense. Billy Armstrong's in town tonight. Playing at the Pelican. Should we make it a night of the two Louis? The absence of metaphor so... Well, at least you're you listening. I said they're the thinking like yourself on fire, so you be... You draw me into your gloom. If you hadn't pushed her... Claudia. You hadn't done yet. Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> I cannot listen to this insanity about Claudia one more time. Bordel de merde. Perplex authorities. Listen to this. Housekeeping staff of Vanderbilt University to discover that they were, in fact, deceased. Similar incidents have been recorded at the College of Charleston, Lincoln University, and Jefferson City. It could be her. But I am the one who is presently standing in front of you. 
And unlike Claudia, I am a full-blooded adult. With all the right appendages, so if my considerable considerables continue to be squandered. Two crime scenes, seven deaths, close proximity. For your forgiveness. Radical daughter. Apology not accepted. Simakum, Phi Beta Kappa. I've read a lot of books. A Romanian tract on vampires. A strange old Hungarian text. Masticatione Mor. <laughs> Don't. Quick stop home to do laundry before you fuck off for good. Perused a few folklore, you're going to cross the ocean and take on a society of monsters. The vampires out there are vicious. Oh, but you've learned that already. Return to week. I never asked. How did Charlie taste? Destined to live an inconsequential little life. We cursed her. Louis. I thought I Louis! His love is. Thousand nights of sulking and the first sight of her! <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> 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 I fought myself a million times, fought my nature, <coughs> controlled my temper. I never once harmed you. Uncle Les. It's Uncle Les now, suddenly. Let him go. Listen to me, and listen very carefully, my infant death. <laughs> It was never you. I chose you. Claudia, hello. Quite often, I don't know if the operator is passing me through correctly. I bought something from Louis' favorite bookshop. Century. Silver and gold on the vellum. Palettes of blue and old rose. Well, I know he's upstairs. I can see his silhouette. So perhaps we should let him decide if he wants to see me or not. Five horsepower Rolls Royce six cylinder engine and a front end they call a coffin nose. Isn't that rich? This one's yours. Mine's back at home in blue. I'm back in town permanently. Where you got? Louis, I don't know what possessed me that night. I was someone I don't want to be anymore. I've changed. Let me prove it to you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without both of you. If you want me to go away, just say so. I'll live your life forever. This silence is cruel. And you are never cruel, Louis. Mia culpas came like the tide. And for six years, they were greeted with silence or fire. You begging, you think a song's gonna get a rise out of me? Did you like it? It's a clear voice. I wanted no obstacle to the lyrics. Ah! Louis is soaking wet. This is my house. Let's we'll start. Leave. You swam the Mississippi to find me. As you should. The 
bond like that makes you believe there are only two of you on the planet. Freedom and chastity wrapped in one person. Antoinette is my own private... It's a child. Interfering in the romantic lives of her parents. It's a look in a promising vampire years. Maybe, but I'm not your child. Now I'm your cousin, now I'm your aunt. I am your maker. But... And that includes lies of exaggeration and of omission. Ah, oh, sis. Grand proclamations and portentous looks. Do you think I'm withholding? Ask your questions. I'll answer them. No. I would never hurt your brother. Never, do we? His name was Magnus. He took me from my room in Paris as I kicked and screamed. He kept me for a week, locked in a room full of corpses. Some freshly killed, some bloated and black. But they all looked like me. My coloring, my physique. My own eyes, staring back at me from rotting faces. He fed on me every night. And then he'd put me back in the tower with their lookalike corpses. I thought for sure I'd be one of them, but instead he turned me into this. No grand history of vampiric origins or physiology, no rules, no counsel. Just a sweeping hand to a pile of money and the sight of him throwing himself into a fire. And then I was alone. I thought... I can't drink hot blood. I can't feed on others. I cried. I called to God. I didn't want this. But I have a capacity for enduring. It's why I don't particularly like being abandoned. Please return to the dark place you came. It was an awkward time. I love Claudia with all my heart, and I love to stop with a wounded one. The work would be convincing the two to find room again for each other. Concessions would be needed. I would have to lead by example. I'd like to ask a question, if that's amenable to you both. You don't have to ask permission. Oh, of course I do. This is the new paradigm. The lambs for the Beauceron. Is it still four legs for Louis and two legs for Claudia? I eat what I eat, she eats what she eats. We respect our differences. Mm. Well, it's always made me feel loathsome, like I'm looked down upon from my body's needs. Well, you don't actually need it. Mm. See, there it is. It's an air of superiority when you say that. You're tolerated. Why didn't you ever say something? Well, it's obvious she doesn't want to upset you. I can speak for myself. Every night, we hunt. And every night, these feelings arise. It breeds resentment. I don't want that. Well then, at the risk of paralyzing this household with more compromise, when we hunt, we hunt human. We are a vampire. We should not. Call me a dog, but an honest dog. We're wondering where you are. Claudio? You like souvenirs? We should really think about repairing that mantle. You are living in a ruin, do you? Amor, sincerity and humility cannot wear it any louder. She is a wall, the cliffs of Etretat. She came back altered when she left us. There's a darkness in her that wasn't there before. 
you for a little time. The joy as I played audience to their joy. Nicholas. Louis said that. Tis. The question is to gain advantage in the game. It won't work. I played three games at once in the Jardin du Luxembourg. And one of my opponents was Johann Zuckertort, who you know, of course, won the Paris Championship. Chess Jules Championship of seven. Interrogations. And I once again put you in check. Check. Nikki passed on after he and I parted ways. Took me over a century to try again. Checkmate. Oh, it's you who lost, Claudia. For the many hundredth time, I admire your steadfast pursuit of a game you clearly have no acumen for. I think I'll hunt alone tonight. Mm. Thank you. No. And I know she's talking to you. She's an affected, self-absorbed, nasty little creature who's fooled herself into thinking she's smarter than she is, and she is poisoning Louis against me. I have given her so many gifts, so many incalculable gifts, and you're right, it is both of them. He broods, she snipes. That's why I need you. You're like me. You like to laugh. You make me laugh all the time. Hmm. You want to be a movie star? Le Don't be ridiculous. How am I supposed to make a career here? Oh. I seek refuge from complaints when I visit you, dear. I know that, but promises were made. And promises will be kept. I am withering here, Lestat. Prague, Bucharest. Funny sound in towns. Ancient towns. Louis. A vessel of acceptance, of tortured rationalization. This life, it does a number on the head, on the soul. If we even have a soul, we can say that won't be us. But every night I feel a little crazier. I'll see you both at dawn. Louis, come. Germany's invaded Poland. Tanks rolling through the countryside. Horrors unleashed. Well, I don't. But to think, our sister, impulsive tot that she is, was on her way to holiday in Europe. I'm Won't we, Louis? Bring it, please! You're riding the New York Limited. Next stop, Birmingham, Alabama. Claudia. Claudia. You left without saying goodbye. Again. I'm sure it was an oversight, but still. You'd think your creator had earned the courtesy. And he needs you now more than ever. Louis couldn't pick an apple off a tree in his current state. <laughs> He'd grip it. And Louis are of need. I'm afraid I can't allow that. He's very fragile right now. Worse than the last time you abandoned him. When you filled your head with knowledge and hitched a ride on a motorbike. Well, you wouldn't talk of it. Louis insisted I not ask. I love our family. But the rules are no secrets. When I put my mind to it, I can hear the thoughts of other vampires at a very great distance. He thinks of you often. Bruce. 
No, I couldn't agree more. What he did to you was a very poor taste. <laughs> Could you imagine if something like that happened to you again? Louis would never forgive himself. <laughs> we endure each other for Louis' happiness. So come home and make him happy. Because if you try this again, Claudia, I won't snap your leg, defile your pocket, and zoom off on a motorbike. I'll turn your bones to dust. Dutch defense. Naturally. Yes. I think the vamp... And so he killed him. Killed him before he knew all the things he could have known. And now... Someone wanting again to pull my sister disappointment. You're going to pout and mimic me until I grow empathetic. Well, the bishop can be captured. See the trap. Lestat, you have to become Lestat. You Bishop, to G1. But he's not mortal. Queen to H. The end of the world. And you will bring your queen. But I'm not moving my rope. It protects the king. And your queen has been neutralized. It's a very spirited effort. Pawn sacrifice. <laughs> You're giving up bishops. <laughs> no, that can be queen on one side. You have won. I finished the game. Nothing. <sighs> Move your pawn, finish the game. Good night, Lester. Finish the game! Selfish, thankless. It was inevitable. Keep listening! Every battle oh. with respect, the American. <laughs> Louis never honored the blood as he should. Blame the teacher, not the student. One in a trunk with locks on the inside. <laughs>